Welcome to Shape Up Montana. This is a tutorial on how to sync your Fitbit to our Shape Up Montana portal. Also, we're going to talk about how to uh, log activities and navigate through that screen and how to find and accept the challenge. So when you log into your screen, uh, www.shapeupmontana.org and enter the username and password you selected for Shape Up Montana, it's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. First, I want to talk about the weekly challenge. Just note that's going to be right here. If you want to view the challenge, you can find it here. You can also view the weekly resources that get emailed to you. You can also find the challenge here. So just note that if you view the challenge or view the weekly resources, once you completed the challenge, it's going to bring you to the screen, accept the challenge. Yeah, I'm sure I want to accept it. I did it. And then it's going to say this challenge has been logged. Now let's talk about syncing your Fitbit. If you're not a Fitbit user, just hold with me a little bit and we will get to the activity logging just after this. The first time you want to come in and use your Fitbit, you're going to click add this Fitbit activity and it's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. Here you need to enter the email and password that you use to set up your Fitbit account, not your Shape Up Montana password and e username unless it's the exact same. So it'll need to be your Fitbit email and your Fitbit password, select login. That's going to give Shape Up Montana permission to pull your Fitbit activity. It's going to bring you back to the screen. Now when you click add Fitbit activity, it's going to pull your steps that you've had for so far for the day right over here. Click log activity and you'll see how it drops down here. Now just note if I were to go around and walk a little bit more than come in and add this Fitbit activity. Now let's just say it's at 1300. It's going to update that down here. We suggest just doing this once per day um, towards the end of the night, you know, before you're ready to settle down for the night because um, then you don't have to keep kind of constantly logging that. Otherwise, um, you can backdate that at a later time if you want as well. So let's just say you want to walk, run, or cycle. No, those are mile to mile conversions. So if you're walking or running, it's going to be mile per mile. So if you walk three miles or run four miles, it's going to be three or four miles. If you do cycling, it's going to be a three to one conversion. So if you run, or excuse me, cycle 12 miles, it's going to convert over here to four. If you walk, let's say three miles, it's going to convert that to three. Just make sure that once you've done this, you log this activity, check down below to make sure that it's here. Now let's just say, for example, I duplicated my, um, my, I entered it twice for whatever reason. You can delete this right over here. Now let's just say you didn't log in yesterday and you want to log in. You can come in here and change the date. Um, let's just say the fourth. Did my Fitbit this many miles. Log activity and it's going to pull down and just note, I lied, it's not going to do that for the Fitbit because it's going to pull that current data. Well, let's just say you do the fourth here. You walked three miles, log that activity. See, it's gonna have that fourth right there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff because I haven't actually done it yet. Just playing around with this tutorial. Actually, I'll just go back and do that later. The other thing you can do is this activity calculator. Once you're in here, let's say you're not a Fitbit wearer, you didn't walk, you didn't run, you didn't cycle. You can come in here and say, like you went to like a group fitness class at your gym, select conditioning. Let's say it was pretty moderate. Add your weight. Now, just note here you want to add your weight. Like if you're lifting dumbbells or bench press, you don't need to enter the weights of the implements that you lifted, how much you had loaded onto the bar. This is your physical body weight. That's what you'll enter here. Duration, let's say class is 45 minutes. There's that conversion. Log that activity and it's going to pull below. So in here we've got conditioning, dancing, fishing, hunting, home activities, home repair, lawn and garden, music playing, occupation, outdoor activities, physical work, sports, water and winter activities. In your welcome email from Shape of Montana, we go over kind of what falls into each of those categories. So I encourage you to view that cheat sheet. Um, and we hope that this answers some questions for you. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 406-254-7426. Thanks for listening.